All right, let's have a look at what's new in Caustic 3.2. Now, there's quite a bit new, so I've broken off some of the larger bits into their own videos. That way, I can go in-depth in showing those. Um, well, this will just be a simple overview where I'll go quickly over the uh, main features and just go quickly over some of the simpler stuff. First up, there's a new synth, uh, the Saw synth, but there's a new video on that, so I'll just glaze right over that. Um, new for the PCM synth and the beatbox are stereo support. Uh, for the samples that are loaded. So you can now load stereo samples and they'll play automatically in stereo. Um, so there'll be a couple new presets coming with the app, um, generously donated by Jason at uh, EIP Studios. And then for Beatbox, um, same thing. So you can see the st uh, samples are stereo. I'll go into the um, sample editor features in another video. Also new for stereo is the modular um, machine input component has stereo left and right outputs as well as the old mono. So any old patches you would have had that used it will use the mono still. But if now, if you want, you can route the left and right separately. So this effectively makes it become um, an auxiliary bus if you want to because then you can route uh, many different machines using machine input blocks and then mix them down to one line on your mixer so you can put new effects on that or actually just use effects in the modular it's up to you the baseline synth gets uh, custom waveform support so long press on the waveform um, so same as the sub synth and of course it previews in real time the 8-bit synth gets a um, new random button here. So this random generator algorithm was donated by a caustic user by the name of Kitano. Hope I said that right. Um, but he generously gave out his code and I just integrated it into the app. So now you've got a random button if you're not the type that likes to worry about um, these equations and how to work them. Uh, at least this gives you a nice little way to play around and find new sounds. So it truly is random just by pressing it and generating an equation. Could be a valid expression, could be nothing. Um, so it's really just for playing around and experimenting. Another feature that often gets requested is support to show the notes inside the pattern blocks here when dropped into the sequencer. So if you notice, um, some of these little blocks here have little lines that kind of gives you an idea of the pattern that's playing at this time. So just a little simple indication, a uh, visual indication to give you a better idea of what's going on. So the drum also works. It'll show you the eight tracks and their little um, triggers. I've added MIDI support for CC mappings on the mixer. Um, so you get all the different channels and their components, uh, as well as the, the main rack, so your play, stop, record, that can all be mapped to MIDI controls now. Effects can now be bypassed uh, through keying in the sequencer, so that's something that often got requested as well. And there's a new export screen with a little bit more options. So you've got the option to export the entire song or the loop as before. Um, you've got a difference on how you want it to end. So you can either have the app detect when the tail ends, so that just kind of automatically generates um, faded silence until all the instruments stop playing and it detects that automatically and cuts the song off at that point or you can just assume that uh, your last pattern block and your last note to play is when the song ends so that would be cut tail or you can also wrap tail and that's used for loops where you want a trailing sound at the end of the loop to be included at the beginning of the loop so that it loops correctly you can export the song as stereo mix down, so that was the default before. Uh, you can also export stems from the mixer, and so that's the raw audio coming out of each mixer line. So that means it doesn't go through the master section, the master effects, the master EQ. The delay and reverb uh, master effects are exported as separate tracks. So this, this generates um, a number of WAV files, one for each instrument that was added, plus one for delay and reverb. And then you can recombine those in a WAV application or remix them yourself for mastering.
The other option is to export the master on each line. So that effectively solos each line, exports the whole song with effects, pretty much just tapping in at the master volume output. And so it'll do that for each one of the lines. So obviously that's gonna run slower because it has to run the export for each instrument you've got. Once you've exported your song, you can share to SoundCloud or um, browse to your file. So some of this is system dependent, but sharing to SoundCloud should be on all platforms. And so that automatically sends you to SoundCloud to fill in your details and upload your song. If the song's already been exported and you forgot to share it, you can always go back and just share last exported without having to export again. So that's it for the overview. Uh, be sure to check out some of the more major features, the uh, melody scale helper, the rack merge feature, the new effects, and the wave editor improvements. I'll put a link of those in the description and you can jump to them.